Good afternoon, Sioux Falls. Welcome to the Denny Sanford Premier Center. Uh, this is our September listening and learning session, and, and mark my words, this is one uh, LNL session you are not going to want to miss. Um, there's so many good things going on in Sioux Falls, but I don't know if you've heard, uh, we are so lucky to have Garth Brooks and his wife, Trisha Yearwood, and their entire team here in Sioux Falls for nine sold out shows. Uh, it's just been just a, a wonderful, wonderful uh, experience. And so we're going to learn more uh, over the next hour and a half. We'll talk to, you know, people that make this event happen. But also we're going to meet a lot of people as well who are here to, to see the show. Uh, but to kick it off, uh, if there's one thing that uh, people of Sioux Falls and South Dakota like, uh, it, is, uh, it is food. Uh, it is an occasional, um, you know, beer or, or beverage or, or whatever. And so, so to kick it off, uh, it isn't just about the, the show. Uh, we do have to, you know, feed these people that come. Uh, we have to give them a, a, an ice cold beverage and, and we can do that better now and we'll talk about that. Absolutely. Uh, but but the, the, the person who's in charge of that uh, for, uh, it's called Ovations, his name is Chad Stoner. And Chad has been uh, leading this effort for a long, long time. And so, so welcome, Chad. Good to have thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Now, Chad, quickly, where are you from and how did you end up uh, being part of this team? You know, I'm actually born and raised in Sioux Falls. So okay. I'm a, I, I call myself a lifer here in Sioux Falls. It's such a great community. Uh, I couldn't see myself leaving. So I, we've raised uh, an entire family here in thank Sioux you. Falls. And, uh, you know, uh, going to school, I, uh, I started part time uh, here at the convention center. And uh, you know the rest is kind of history. Going th going to school, and I've been here for um, I hate to say it, but I think 13 years. Oh, well, yes. I love it. Yeah. Well, and now three of the years have been uh, running the show for the event center when it comes to food and beverage. So, how in the world do you do it? First of all, how many people uh, are employed in terms of? feeding uh, 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 the people at a big show like this? Yeah, we've got uh, upwards of 300 people. Um, yeah, it's it's been absolutely incredible. Um, our staff have, have really been, uh, we've kind of got a theme. We, we call it all hands. You know, it's been, okay. it's been all hands. We've even got staff uh, from our sales office working in the kitchen because we've needed so much help because of the high volume uh, of these shows. It's just been absolutely incredible. Um, a ton of planning goes into uh, events like this. Obviously, we've never uh, done something like this in yeah. Sioux Falls, so it makes it even a little more special. Um, the preparations that we have taken um, almost on a daily basis, we're getting deliveries. We do have two semi-trailers on standby uh, in the in the rear of the convention center just to house uh, the beverage oh my uh, God. for these events. And so two refrigerated two ref semis, absolutely, that yep. are that are right here uh, as on as you site. need. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then we've actually added an, an additional uh, 650 square foot cooler uh, to the Premier Center this summer. Mm. So we've been mm. we've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of projects this summer to to prepare for events like this. Um, so we, we were ready. We okay. were definitely ready. That cooler is about the size of another semi. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you, if you add them all up, it, it's three semis. And okay. we're constantly, even in between shows, refilling that. Um, and it actually makes our efficiency much, much better. There's cold beer for everybody, okay. uh, cold beverage for everyone. Um, and so, yeah, it's just been, it's been absolutely great. Chad, go back to that 300 people that are needed for a show like this. Yeah. Are they all full-time? Are they part-time? Are they, are they city employees? Are they, yeah. well, how does that work? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's mostly part-time. We do have okay. a full-time management staff, but you know, we, we do need that part-time help. We need lots of uh, smiling faces here to, to service the guests that come through the doors. Um, so yeah, we're always looking for um, those service-minded folks okay. um, to, to come here, uh, come work with us. It's a fun environment. You can't you can't get much more fun than than working shows like Garth Brooks. Uh, so the folks that we that we do uh, have working here, there's always comments of, uh, about how much fun it is it Good. is to work here for this Good. team. So yeah. Now. Okay, um, we love it when people come to our shows here because certainly we do need to make some money as well. Yep. But Garth and Trisha now, they perform five shows. They've got four more to go. Yep. How uh, the people that are coming to these shows, are they spending any money? You know, they are. Okay. Uh, they are exceeding our expectations, um, which, 
you know, with the with the planning of all this, there's there's always kind of a backup plan to the backup to plan to the backup plan. Okay. Uh, just so we stay prepared. And um, you know, speaking personally, I'm I'm really glad that we put in so much planning for this event because there have been a lot of curveballs. Oh. And oh, uh, so give me one. Give me well, give me a know, curveball. Um, um, just a matter of. Um, our backstage, our, our backstage area of trying to trying to reach through, um, kind of the the off limits areas and trying to move product from one building okay. uh, to the next, and so that creates a lot of challenges. Um, yeah, the timing of things. Sioux, Sioux Falls. I don't know if you caught that. One of the one of the real challenges that you face when you have a a monster show like this is that. The uh, touring groups who come here, they really do care about security. Absolutely. And there are certain areas that are truly off limits, even to people like Chad and his team. Uh, and so you do have to kind of work, you, you must work around that. Yep. Yeah, we definitely have to work around their timeline and their okay. timeline uh, may change throughout the day. So we're, we always have to be prepared uh, to kind of have a backup plan to that. Um, really from minute to minute okay. and, and the communication within our team is really important so that everyone is on the same page okay and uh, you know not going in areas where they're not supposed to and uh, you know getting product out in a timely fashion so are these people spending more money than any other pl concert we've done before I heard Eric Church was the uh, was the largest spending per attendee that we've ever had yes have do we know are, are we exceeding that with garth and trisha you know we're not quite uh we're not quite there eric church okay. was a, a single event okay. um but but uh, was that, see that was that a friday night or saturday i can't remember i don't remember right, but it was a, it was, was a fun it night was, I know it that. was an incredible <laughs> night um this has uh this is come very very close to okay. that so um the numbers that we're that we're pulling in we're very happy with um, you know the the patrons that we talk to when, when they're leaving the building, um, they're very very happy with the service. Okay. Uh, we, we actually created some Garth Brooks themed menu items. Oh, give for, me one. Give me one. Uh, we've got <laughs> Baton Rouge barbecue, <laughs> uh, uh, burning bridges bacon. It's a candied bacon on a, a candied bacon on a stick. Oh my gosh. Uh, Dixie chicken. Um, that's that's a gold sauce um, uh, chicken breast. Um, is there a low stand, place? Is there is there a low places to anything? We absolutely do. Our pre party over in the arena we've got our low places lounge <laughs> there uh, you go absolutely Sioux Falls yeah. low places lounge so you can get your shameless bloody mary down there <laughs> oh. or two pina coladas oh my absolutely God. so I love it. it's been a lot of fun thank you, know, you. Uh, thank the you. uh the hey the i'm proud first of all i'm yeah. proud of you for doing it making it fun absolutely uh because this is something that i don't know if we'll be ever be able to replicate it again so why right. not have some fun absolutely we had to definitely go all out for this because we don't know if we'll ever get a second chance yes. on something like this yes. so yeah it's been very well received Thank for sure you. well one of the things that Sioux Falls uh, well, I'm gonna uh, hopefully try to get uh, Terry Torkelson and some others but I don't know if you remember when we talked about building our new event center one of the things that we we talked about was that most of the people that are be would be coming to these shows they would be coming from out of town and spending their money. And and again, we want it to be fun. We want to have high quality of life, but we truly do need it for economic development. So Chad is reaffirming that uh, these out of towners, whether they free, be from uh, all across South Dakota, all across America, and yes, for this show, all across the world, they are spending their money. Yeah, they are. They definitely are. They're okay. coming here and they're having a good time. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, before I leave, I'd love to get in that new cooler, but I know we can't. Tell just what this this new cooler that we yeah. that we built. It's the size of a large semi. Yeah, it's it is 650 square feet. So um, uh, square feet. It, it allows us to hold about 15 pallets of packaged beer. Uh, that's the canned beer, and um, I don't have an official count, but a ton uh, of draft beer. Okay. There's also um, it also the the placement of it actually helps us be more efficient uh, in that in the building and getting that product out to everybody, good, especially good, good. during the turns between uh, these double header shows. Well, and and that's something too, Sioux Falls. I don't know if you're all aware. Uh, Garth and Trisha, they're doing nine shows, and they're not just at night. Uh, for example, today, uh, I'm here on a Saturday afternoon. Garth and Trisha, they're doing an afternoon show, and then we have to turn it around, yeah. and then we're doing an evening show, and he's done. He's going to do that three, is it three times? 
Yeah, yes. So we've, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we've got two shows today and okay. another two shows tomorrow. Very so good. last Saturday we had a, a double, our first double header. Our so, first double header. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so good. we learned a lot from that. Uh, made a few small adjustments uh, from what we learned, good. and so we really, uh, we really see this weekend going. Even even more better. Love you it. Know. Love yeah, it. Absolutely. Well, you still look good. Your eyes aren't uh, <laughs> too too dark. Yeah, it's been it's been around the clock. You know, um, it's been early mornings, late nights. Um, you know, to to help motivate the team, uh, we're just keeping our eye on the prize for yes. sure. At the end of this, they're all looking forward to uh, a full night's sleep. But man, they are working very, very hard uh, to, to make these events successful. So I'm very proud of them. I have to say that. So uh, I am very proud of the team that we've got it. and, and the, the all hands uh, mindset that we've had. All right, yeah. Chet, hey, go make us some money and Absolutely. sell some uh, some uh, some burgers, <laughs> uh, some brats, some Absolutely. pizza, some popcorn. Certainly. Yep. A bunch of beer and refreshments, Absolutely. but thank you on behalf of the city thank of Sioux Falls. You're thank doing you. great stuff. Thank you. I appreciate right, take that. Care. Right. What a great start, uh, Sioux Falls. Now, let's just continue uh, uh, this discussion about what does it take to put on a monster show at our event center. More to come. Great start, Sioux Falls. Uh, what, that, fun, just learning about how, how we take care of people when it comes to food and beverage at, at our event center. But, you know, we, we couldn't hold this uh, this listening and learning session without bringing in uh, the person who's really uh, in charge of making all this stuff happen. And he hasn't just started. Uh, since our event center was built, he's been here a long time. His name is Terry Torkelson. And Terry, first of all, just thank you. I don't know how you're doing it, but uh, uh, from what I understand, we've got the 88th busiest event center in the world when it comes to touring events. And now after nine sold out Garth and Trisha shows, there's a chance we're going to beat that, isn't there? There's always a chance. <laughs> uh, we don't promise anything because you know, everyone's numbers are, have been elevated by this. So okay. a lot of the buildings who are bigger than us are doing about the same amount okay. of people. I'm still hoping for it. And, and I know they're working their tails off to make that happen. Terry, I, I mean, uh, how has it been going? I mean, back-to-back -back shows, nine of them in total, uh, a lot of stress, a lot of expectations. How do you think we're doing? I think we're doing great. Okay. We have a phenomenal staff. I mean, the event staff has been working around the clock, but tons of planning, uh, working with the city departments, so okay. police, fire, uh, the street department's been great. Uh, everyone's been great. So. It's a lot of coordination outside of the building as well because we're doing the shuttles over at uh, the fairgrounds. Okay. And they've really been used. Uh, last Saturday night, I think we had 1,000 people who, who actually used the shuttles. So a great thing because there's always multiple things going on here too. You know, that's one thing, Sioux Falls. I don't know if you're, you're kind of wondering, why are all these people, you know, standing here? Well, we're here about two hours before uh, this afternoon's show actually starts. One of the things that we asked people to do was to come early and to, uh, you know, to, to use those shuttles. And my gosh, it looks like people, they have come early. Uh, I know I, as I was driving here, they were using the shuttles, but there's still plenty of parking and a lot of enthusiasm. So uh, thank you, Sioux Falls, and thank you, America and the world for, for listening to us. But thanks for getting that word out, Terry. Thank you. Yeah, no, it was a group effort. I mean, you were involved in it. Uh... Heather and your office was involved in it. it. It was truly a community effort to get the word out. A lot of the businesses are getting involved. Um, even the ones around here, Casa Del Rey has a uh, Garth Brooks special. Oh, good. The VA or the um, BFW. Oh gosh. They've got a sign out front doing stuff. So good. You know, Buffalo Wild Wings whole parking lots a tent. So it's really a, a big party around here, uh, for and after all these shows. All right, I've got to ask you this now. Now get ready, Joel, because this one definitely is. There's always that topic about parking. And uh, I, I mean, how did we do? We did great, you know. Great, people, Sioux Falls, great. People don't realize that there are not arenas of our size out there that have 4,000 parking spaces. Like we do. They're, yeah, they're usually downtown, surrounded by streets, yeah. and there's no place to park. You walk, you know, 10 blocks sometimes and pay 20 bucks to park. Oh, oh, oh you mean so the parking, you actually have to pay to do parking in other parts of the in other parts of the country. Yeah, within our company SMG, when we have our corporate meetings and people hear that we don't charge for parking, they say we're crazy. Oh. I mean, how much you know we're 
throwing away $40,000 right. a show, sure. but you know, in South Dakota, uh, it's just not the way we're going to do it. We're going to keep it free, uh, make it affordable, because we do a lot of things in the convention center where the ticket may be $8. Yes. So how can you charge $10 for parking to go to an $8 show? Okay. So it just doesn't make sense. Okay. But plenty of parking. Uh, it, you know, yeah, some people may have to park a little ways out, but you know, if you're in the far edge of lot E, you're just as close if you're parking over uh, by the baseball fields or something oh, okay. like that, or over at McCart. Um, you're not really any further away. It's just that whole mentality of, if I can't see the front door, That's I'm right. too far away. And, and with a show like this, the odds are good you're not going to see the front door when you park your car. But if you just walk just a little bit, uh, you are going to have plenty of parking. And yes, it's free. And yes, it's safe. And that's, yes, it's clean. And, and we also have to thank the West Sioux neighborhood. You know, the West Sioux neighborhood, as we built this event center, even as we were talking about it, um, you know, the, they have been with us this entire time and uh, really embrace the event center. Uh, they embrace the fans that come. Uh, and I guess all we ask is that, you know, if you do come from out of town uh, and you are watching this program, just treat this West Sioux neighborhood like you would your own. Uh, but yeah, they sure have been great people. Yeah, we try and go through afterwards too and make sure we can clean up uh, if anyone is you know, discourteous and decides to do something like litter, we try and get that all picked up before okay. the next morning. Okay, great. All right, so Terry, I, I do have to ask, uh, nine sold out shows. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to replicate this again, but how do you do something bigger than this? How does that, in your planning, in your vision, uh, with you, your company, your staff, and yes, this, this mayor who always wants to reach higher. How do we do something bigger than this? Uh, it's going to be tough, Yeah. but you, you just never know who's going to go out on tour next. It's going to take an artist bigger than Garth Brooks. Wow. And that's tough. Yes. But there are a few out there. You know, there are rumblings of certain people who might go out on tour. Uh, some of the people who are doing stadium tours now Ooh. might come indoors and do arena stuff. Okay. But in South Dakota, it's tough to get an artist to do multiple dates and really trust that we can sell it. This has kind of disproved that, that <laughs> philosophy that, hey, it's a small town. You know, how are you going to sell 100,000 tickets? Well, we did it. We did it in about, what, 36 minutes or something like that. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> uh, the whole process is very interesting on the phone. It's very coordinated, very organized. People from Ticketmaster are on. People from Garth's okay. group are on. Garth himself is on the call. And, the, you know, the decisions are being made in real time based on sales. And they were very impressed with how Sioux Falls and the region reacted. This is one of those shows, Sioux Falls, where... Uh, I, I bet I, on one hand I could count the number of folks who said, well, I couldn't get a ticket, Mayor, so that's why I'm not going. Uh, if you really wanted a ticket, if you tried to get one, the odds were incredibly good. You were going to get a ticket for, for this show, right, Terry? Correct. You know, we're, our, we do a survey after this. It's electronic that goes out to people who buy tickets on Ticketmaster. And so far, the comments have all been very positive. Good. We've also been seeing... About 65% of the people uh, are coming from further than 55 miles away. Wow. And just over 20% of the people who are responding are staying in hotel rooms. Okay. Which is, for an arena, a phenomenal number. That's more like a convention number. Wow. So they are truly making this a weekend event or a multi-day event. And they're certainly spending money. Yeah, and, you know, the hotel, the Sheraton and the yeah. Ramada across the street, they're having to turn over their hotel wow. really quick because everyone who's staying there is coming to the show the one night, and they have to get all those people out oh my, and yes. then get everybody in in time for the next, for the show. next show. So, you know, the hotels have been doing a heck of a job, too. We're not the only one who are really burning the midnight hours. Well, I know the whole town is doing well. Downtown, south side, east side, north side, west side, we're, we're doing well. Uh, so again, Terry, I just I just want to thank you on behalf of the people for the work that you're doing. I wish we could get all of your staff on camera to thank them as well. But um, truly, we have exceeded everybody's expectations when it came to this event center. And uh, it wouldn't have happened if not for the, the good people like you and, and your team. So again, great job. Uh, I'm going to interview a couple of people who are here coming to the show, great. but I'd like to come back and, and talk to you later about maybe that, that old arena and maybe how that's played a role here as well. Absolutely. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Good job. Let's, let's have some fun, Sioux Falls. 
Sioux Falls, you know, one of the things that we've talked about when it came to our event center is that most of the people that are coming to these shows, they're actually coming from out of town. And uh, I, as I'm walking down the line, I said, hey, who's not from Sioux Falls? And I got Canby, Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and so many others. So I grabbed the Minnesota people. First of all, welcome to our town. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you. Now, how many days have you been here already? We're just here today, actually, you're, you're but we're going to gonna stick around for a while. Thank yes. you. Thank yep. Did you bring your purse or credit card? I sure did. You did thank you. <laughs> thank you as well. Now, is this your first show at the event center? No. Really? Ooh, I love it. So what, uh, first of all, where are you from? Canby, Minnesota. Canby, and your name? Jackie. Jackie, Jackie, thank you. So what have you seen before at the event center? Carrie Underwood. The largest show uh, in the event center history was the Carrie Underwood show. Uh, that was the largest one, so great, great. And so you came back though to see Garth and Trisha? I did. Good. And you brought friends? I did, lots of friends. Okay, great, great, I love it, I love it. <laughs> So, uh, why why did you come to Sioux Falls versus um, you know Minneapolis or or somewhere else? Were you able to get tickets, or what was the what was the motivation? Both. We love Sioux Falls. We come here as often as we can, and um, definitely closer than Minneapolis or any place else. So, when we saw there was tickets here, it was an absolute had to have. Good. How did you get your tickets? Steven. Steven. Steven, come here. Steven. No, no, Steven, I need you. Stephen, I need you. So, Stephen, I, I wanted to. Stephen, you're from Canby or yes. Minneapolis? Canby. Canby. Yeah. So, you know, getting a ticket is always a, a challenge. How did you get tickets not only for yourself but for your friends? We sat online and waited on Ticketmaster, waiting for them to open up. Okay, and then all of a sudden they opened up, and how fast did you get them? I don't know, 15 minutes, I suppose. We Ooh, great, great. Great. And have you been to a show here before too? Yep, we were down here for Blake and we come to watch the Stampede too. So. Ah, gosh. I, I love it. I, I want to say I, I like him almost more than you because he's, he's kind of more, I love it. So why the event center? Uh, they just built a nice arena, better than the last one and, and we enjoy coming here for all the shows. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Do you, um, um, uh, you talk about hockey and, and, and other shows like this. Do you ever stay overnight? Yeah, we stay at my brother-in-law's now. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Well, uh, two, I was gonna let you know, we've got 5,000 job openings in Sioux Falls, <laughs> folks. Uh, we'd love to have you move here, too, and uh, be employed here. Uh, but we, we truly would, but, but we're blessed to have you here, too. Now, there were Minneapolis people. Yep. And I, oh, wow, are you kidding me? You came four hours, four and a half hours, to come see Garth and Trisha in Sioux Falls. Yep, yep. What? I mean, we tell. Have, we have family here in yeah, Sioux Falls. We're so. originally from here. Yep. Uh, and you moved away? Yeah. What? <laughs> five weeks ago. Five, oh my. Yeah. Well, we need you back. <laughs> but well, thank you for coming though. Yep, yep. From uh, from Minneapolis. Yep. I, I love it. Yep. I love it. So, um, uh, have you been to an event center performance before? Yep. Uh, Tim McGraw Faith Hill. Oh, very good. Uh, I was there that night yes. too. I love it. So, this is my first time. It, it is. Yep. To the event center. Yep. Well, you're going to love it. Uh, you're going to love it. And it's a great show, too. Yeah, I'm excited. It's a great show. So when are you going home? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay. But you uh, you got to spend some time with family? Yep. yep. Great. Yep. And they're in Sioux Falls? Yep. Yeah, they're Good. actually here with us. So. Oh, yep. wonderful. Yeah. Yep. Well, uh, I'm, I'm sure they were sad to see you go, but they're darn happy to have you home. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, uh, yep. well, welcome home. And yep. tell me your name. Nicole. Nicole and? Danielle. Danielle. Nicole and Danielle, uh, we're going to fight. Uh, to get you back home. Okay. I'm so, sure there's someone up ahead of me that would love to. All right, all right. <laughs> well, let's get you into the show. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Take care. Thank you. Nice Great job. You. Nice video. Thank you. This is one hopping place. Uh, you know, I wish I could get all 180,000 people here for an event just to see how it's not just the the show itself that makes this uh, such a, a a fun environment to be in. It's it's really the people. And all the, the excitement that they bring, the energy that they bring, as well as the multiple activities that occur at this location. You know, we not only have the event center, but we also have this convention center that's always busy, along with the Sioux Falls Arena uh, and, and so much more. So I do have Terry Torkelson back here just to talk a little bit about that. I mean, Terry, I know the event center gets all the attention, but there truly is 
uh, some importance in having our convention center, which we're right in, you know, right in, as well as the old arena. There's some importance in terms of having that here. Absolutely, a lot of our larger shows wouldn't happen without it. Uh, now, dairy. wait a second. Wait, explain that. What? Well, at the conventions that we're doing, the the Dairy Expo takes up the entire complex. The farm show now is taking up the entire complex. Okay. Uh, Pheasant Fest. Pheasant Fest, which is coming in the the, the, the spring. February. February. Yeah. If we didn't have all of this square footage, we would never be able to host an event like that. So, those larger events that are key to the success of our hospitality industry wouldn't happen if this was a you know a complex with spread out across the. City. Thank you, Terry. Now, now, the old arena, I mean, built in uh, the 60s, a home of the big bees and probably what known for, uh, you know, the place where the circus is at. Did Garth and Trisha, did we ever, did we even, did we have to use the arena for that? We're actually using it for pre-parties in the evening. Four okay. o'clock it opens. Um, our peak was last Saturday, we had 2,500 people come <laughs> to the pre-party. So At the old arena? Yeah, it gives them a chance to get in the building. Um, they're not having to stand in line, just staring at the wall. Uh, we had a band. Uh, we're doing it every night. Uh, we had like 1,500 people last night, so it depends upon the night, but definitely a, a great asset because people can come early, they can go okay. there, get something to eat, get something to drink, be entertained, and then uh, when the line gets down a little bit, they can just walk out of the arena and go through the magnetometers and go to their seat. So it works out really well. Now, I'm sitting here going, there's a big show going on right now during the Garth and Trisha show yep. and then I know last night there was a big football game that was trying and and so, so how in, how do you pull this off uh, it's got to be coordinated at some level yeah absolutely uh, our, our, the team has to work together and obviously our our systems are all computerized so that we don't stack things on top of each other but things like the Northern Plains Tribal Arts it books years in advance okay so when Garth and Trisha booked you know, that was six months in advance, so you do end up with things on top of each other, and you just try your best to make sure everyone gets along and everyone has what they need, and that's what our staff does best. Uh, okay, so Sioux Falls, not only do we have nine sold-out shows at the event center, uh, but at the same time, Terry and his team, they don't stop booking other events. Uh, so this is a convention center with multiple rooms, We've got the arena, uh, we've got, uh, you know, Canary Stadium and, and all this. So I, I, what what would happen here? Weddings, um, uh, we'll circuit? Anything. We literally do anything that's legal. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. it, it's a business, yeah. like you've always said, run it like a business and that's what we do. So this building comes close to breaking even every year, which is absolutely unheard of. The convention center. Correct, for a okay. market our size to lose maybe $100,000 in operating uh, income. That's really pretty amazing considering the economic impact we can generate off of a single event. So the event center, as you know, has been operating in the black or, or making a profit. Terry just mentioned that the convention center is almost uh, uh, making a profit, close to breaking even. Some years it does, some years it does. Oh, very good. The arena is not. Uh, that is uh, a, a place that we are not making a profit in, but that, that flat floor space uh, is critical to booking some of these big shows. So even though uh, it's still an investment, it is paying dividends by having that flat floor space at the arena. Correct, and it's also a great place for Augustana. I mean, we're the home of Augustana oh, that's basketball, right. so you know we love having them here. Uh, we've done some smaller shows in there. When PBR was here, we did some uh, after-show concerts. So it does serve a purpose. Uh, you know, we're going to take a look at what we really need to do with it. Is do we need to do some modifications? Do we need to change how we're doing things? So there's a company, CSL, that's going to start that work, uh, okay. or has actually already started it. So we'll see what they have to say and see how we can tweak our business to maximize the amount of revenue we make in the old arena. Okay. Uh, so um, we've got. Uh Four shows to go. Is it four shows to go? Uh, in Sioux Falls, uh, again, it's a Saturday afternoon, a Saturday matinee show, which again is sold out. But we've got five under our belt. Uh, if we've, what's the, in your mind, the number one thing that we've learned uh, over the first five shows? Sorry to put you on the spot, Terry. Go. I would say the biggest thing, and it's always critical in our industry, it, but this just reinforced it is everything has to happen to the minute mm. um, when we're changing over between the shows we want the group coming into the second show to come into a clean building 
So we did a test run the first Friday night and we failed. We didn't do it as well as we could have or should have. So we adjusted our plan and we had the building clean in 42 minutes. And that's- what? No, 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 Sioux Falls. Again, it's a 12,000 seat or a 12,000, yeah, seat, I guess, uh, event center for Garth and Trisha. Uh, they spent a lot of money, had a lot of fun, a lot of a lot of um, uh, um, things going on at one time. Uh, and you can imagine even when you have uh, uh, Christmas at your house or Easter at your house or a birthday party at your house, the mess that is made. But now, talk about 12,000 people coming to your house for a big show. And you said you turned it over in 42 minutes. Yeah, correct. I mean, come on. Well, it took, uh, it took a lot of planning overnight to figure out how we were going to do it. The biggest problem we ran into is right now the ice is in. So the insulation board that's down underneath all the floor seats is cold. So when you try and mop it, all it does is smear the liquid around. Okay. So uh, we partnered with our, our good friends at Shipley's. They came in on the weekend and got us 900 used towels. And so every single wet spill in the building gets wiped up with a towel. So we have a huge crew. The ushers help. The security helps. It's all hands on deck. And everybody's out there picking up garbage, rearranging the seats, and wiping down the floors. I, I love these listening and learning sessions because I always learn something, and I hope you do too. But Terry just mentioned, remember, uh, even though we don't have uh, the Stampede playing hockey now, we still have that ice uh, on the floor. And so those people are actually sitting or standing on top of the, the ice. Uh, but that does pose challenges in terms of cleaning it up. So well, I love these sessions. Um, well, and when it's humid like this, today we're really concerned. So we actually went out and got more people and more towels. Um, because when it's humid, obviously that floor is going to stay wet even longer because of the temperature. So okay. you have to keep a lot of things in mind when we're, when we're doing things like this. All right. Well, well again, Terry, I don't, I, I'm so proud of your team. Thank you. And thanks for coaching us as well in terms of how this, this happens. And so let's, uh, I'm going to let you go. Uh, you've got so much on your mind, so much on your plate. You don't need this mayor uh, taking that away from you. So go make these people happy. And, and again, thanks for all you do. Thank you. Great job. Sioux Falls, uh, you know, it's not people from all over the world that's coming, uh, which is a lot of fun. We have a lot of people from South Dakota who make the trek to Sioux Falls to, to really enjoy our event center. And I've got Guy from Pier. Yes. And I've got Deb yeah. from Pier. Uh, they're, they're not married, by the way, these two, but they are here still as, as friends. And, and uh, uh, tell me, why did you come to, to the show, uh, Guy? Tell me about it. Well, Deb and her husband and my wife, we've got two other couples, eight of us made the trip together. Thank you. Make a weekend out of it in Sioux Falls. And you came this morning or did you come last night? Come this morning and we'll leave back tomorrow. Oh, so you're going to stay at a, stay overnight? We're going to stay overnight. Thank you, Guy. Thank Certainly. you. Certainly. I love it. Thanks Bringing for... some pier money to Sioux Falls, Mayor. Did, did you hear that? Bringing pier money to Sioux Falls. Thank you. Certainly. And, and we need it. And, and please understand, folks, we want uh, certainly Sioux Falls to do well, but we also want South Dakota to do well, because when they do, they do make the trek to Sioux Falls and they spend their money here. Sure, this is where we have to come for our Christmas shopping, for our <laughs> for our clothes shopping, for our back to school shopping, Sorry everything. Dear. Oh, I love it. I, I love it. I love it. And and Deb, uh, so you're seeing her tonight tonight too. Yep. I'm All right. Stay until Monday. You're staying until Monday. Whoa, that's 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 great. You, so you're staying a couple nights. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you gonna do any shopping? Oh, of course. Okay, okay. Are you a Garth fan? I am. And Trisha fan? Oh, I am. All right, so um, uh, I have seen the show. What is the, is there something you're really looking forward to with Garth and Trisha today? Just to see the excitement. I mean, it's, they're awesome. I yeah. heard no one's disappointed about their show. No. So no. we're just excited. The the energy, uh, the, the, the opportunity that I had there was there were very few people guy who ever sat down and so deb get ready uh ready. did you eat something before the show yeah chinese okay good good so you got some energy uh that sounds good uh, uh deb guy have you been to the event center before first time ah. first time to the denny sanford yeah, yeah welcome guy thank you thank you I, why not earlier uh, don't know. Okay. Don't know if there was a show I wasn't, a group that I wasn't following. Okay. Uh, but we made the trip as a group today. Well, I, we, I'm, I'm a little biased guy, but I think you're really going to be a very, very, not only surprised by its beauty and its functionality, 
and the fun of the people, but I think it'll get you back. Well, good, good. Uh, the Washington Pavilion, yes. like the shows there, and now we'll check out this venue. Oh, and Sioux Falls, that's one thing, too. You have to understand, when we do invest money in things like the Washington Pavilion, uh, and you get people like Guy who are willing to come from Pierre to, to really enjoy those, enjoy those, sure, they cost money to, to maintain, and but, but look at the development that it creates when you have people like Guy coming. Uh, so whether it be a show at the pavilion or now we're finally getting him to the event center. Well, I mean, what a big deal. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you. We're going to have a good time. Thanks, Guy. Are you a runner? You're in good shape. Uh, no. I'm how do you not. work? How do you stay in such good shape? Uh, grandchildren. <laughs> I've got one now, too, Guy. Uh, George is 15 months and he runs me ragged. You're going to tire you out. No, it's very yeah, good. For well, sure. Well, what a pleasure to meet you, Guy. Thank you, Mayor. Now, now don't leave me. I like, I like the hat. I like thank the you. get up. Thank you, buddy. Thank good you. Thank, and now, Deb, I'm going to leave you. Uh, you've been here before. Yes. We came to Toby Keith last summer. Oh, very good. Very good. You, your hubby, and some friends? Yep. Okay. Thank you. It now, do you have family that live here? I do. Okay. I do. And uh, I, without telling us their names, what, what do they do in town? Well, my mother actually just retired, and I just moved her to Pierce. So that's okay. kind of why we're here fixing up her house. So. Oh, very good. Very good. So there's a house for sale in Sioux Falls soon, we'll soon. soon, and we'll take it, and it'll be gone like that. So I, uh, great. Uh, well, again, Deb, thanks for meeting with me today. I appreciate it. Thanks for inviting us to your city. Oh, I love it. I love it. Have fun, uh, and uh, welcome, Guy. Thanks, man. Great job. All right, Sioux Falls, that's fun. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, Sioux Falls, you know, we talked a lot about people from all over the country, all over the world that come into Sioux Falls, but you bet we actually have Sioux Falls people that really enjoy the show as well. And look what I found, a bunch <laughs> of Sioux Falls people, and they're, they're excited to be here. Is yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so I, I guess Haley's in charge of the group, right? Right. Okay, <laughs> Haley's in charge of the group. So, you know, who are these people and, and why are you, why, why, why this show? These people here? Yeah. Well, these are my friends, obviously. Um, we've lived together and gone to school together. Um, a lot of us went to the University of Sioux Falls. And we actually are here because we are really big fans of the song She's in Love with the Boy by Trisha Yearwood. Oh, yes. Yeah. So really, that's the reason She's we're in here. love with the boy. <laughs> She's in love with the boy. <laughs> yeah. I, I, this happens every day, Sioux Falls. I love it. Well, so, oh, uh, Trisha actually is getting such rave reviews too here mm -hmm. at the show. She's just been wonderful. Uh, so you, you had to come for more than just one song. Come on. <laughs> no, just one song? <laughs> Mostly yes, but okay. uh, I mean, we're here for the whole experience. We've heard Garth is an incredible entertainer. Yes. So we're looking forward to having Very him. good, very good. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, are you all, you said you're all USF grads? The three of us. The actually. three, okay. Are you all from Sioux Falls? Pretty, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, great, great. Well, we're just thrilled to have you here. And uh, I mean, so how many shows have you been to, please? Here. Here. This yes. will be my first concert here. Oh my! Where have you been? I know. <laughs> what kind of music do you like? I would say all kinds. Okay. All kinds. Now you're from Sioux Falls, though. I am. And your first name? Melanie. Melanie. So okay. Melanie, why uh, why is it your first show? And be honest, uh, have you had trouble getting tickets? Uh, coach me because you know we've been open now three years, uh, the 88th busiest event center in the world. We just had our, our two millionth uh, uh, visitor or customer yesterday. So you're a Sioux Falls person. Why your first show? And it's not. It, I'm not trying to um, uh, denigrate it at all. I do need to understand the why. I would say just busy being a mom, busy yes. working, and not taking the time for fun. So my daughter got us tickets, and we're here, ready to have some fun. Well, and, and it won't only be fun. Uh, it's going to be a memory. Mm -hmm. uh, and. You know, my mom actually is coming to this show too. My mom is, and uh, she came with a friend. And uh, I don't know. I hope she's inside already. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so I, I enjoy the memory with your daughter and her friends, and we love to have you come back. But Sioux Falls, you know, I understand that too. That uh, you know, people are working their tails off. They're trying to provide for their family. They're they're trying to squeeze all this stuff in, and not everybody has been to the event center yet. 
but there are shows that are also free at the event center and so we'd love to have you come and we hope that uh, uh, at some point in time everybody does enjoy it and like you're going to today and I guarantee you you're going to enjoy it. I'll be back. All right. So uh, uh, I've got to get a quick picture with these folks and then we're going to get them inside. So Sioux Falls, thank you. You know, Sioux Falls, I know that one of the concerns that people have sometimes uh, involving the event center is, is there going to be enough parking? Well, for these nine sold out shows, we've really made a concerted effort to try to get the word out that there, there's plenty of parking. It is all free. But if you want another alternative, there are also shuttles as well. Uh, this shuttle came from the fairground. And uh, and so we're, it was, you, you didn't get to see it, but it was jam packed, people got off. And now we've got some, uh, you know, one other customer coming in that will truly enjoy the show. So Sioux Falls, please keep that in mind. Uh, there's plenty of parking, it is free. However, we also do these other things for big shows too, such as the, uh, the shuttles. So uh, I, I, I love it, uh, keep it going, and uh, we're gonna keep getting smarter when it comes to parking uh, along this journey too. Thank you. Sioux Falls, you know, we just talked about uh, parking and the shuttles, and, and Jessica just came off uh, the trolley that came from the, uh, what, the Empire Fairgrounds? Yep. Yep. Oh, very good. Yeah. Now, Jessica, first of all, tell us um, uh, where are you from and, and what do you do here in town? I'm from Sioux Falls originally. Um, I work part time at Old Navy. Um, I go to about a zillion concerts. It's kind of what I do. Um, I'm going to four Garth Brooks shows, all the shows this weekend. Oh, so. come on. Yeah. Uh, I, all right, Sioux Falls, uh, Jessica is going, as you will go to four shows. Yes, sir, I will. So is Garth uh, just one of your biggest shows? Are you, I mean, yeah. I see you got it. I've, I've seen him. I've seen him once. I saw him in Fargo, and I actually started the hashtag for the city. No, so okay. Now wait, 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 wait. Joel, you got this. All I right. I don't know if you can see it, but what is this? It's the hashtag that they have inside the building. It says Garth and Sioux Falls. I was the one that started that on Twitter. Oh my God! Like two year, two and a half years ago. That's what the date is. Three fourteen fifteen. Yeah. And this glows in the dark, so he'll hopefully be able to see me from 102. From 102? Uh-huh. Very I good. Hope so. <laughs> now, you said that you've come to a number of shows yep. at the event center. Oh, yeah. And, you know, you are uh, in, in a wheelchair. Yes. <laughs> so, um, uh, how is it working? Is it, is it, it's got to be better than the old arena. Oh, gosh, yes. Much better. Um, there's probably not a bad seat in the house. Okay. There's, I mean, even the upper levels are great seats. Is it uh, been accessible for you? Oh, yeah. Okay. In fact, I was at a, my last venue I was at for, it was not here in Sioux Falls, but I had a bad, not so accessible experience. So this is much, much better. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, very good. Yeah. What's What's been your favorite show so far? Oh my goodness, I can't even say. I've got I've gone to so many. Um, I got to meet Hunter Hayes while he oh, when he was here. Great. Got to go on his tour bus. Um, I went to I went to Luke Bryan. I went to Blake, Blake Shelton. I went to Carrie Underwood. Uh, yeah, I've been to like a zillion of these concerts. I even went to Motley Crue. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh my, I, I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, if you if you were to give uh, me any advice as your mayor in terms of things that we could do even better at the event center to support people that, you know, have, have uh, maybe a, a, a bit more of a challenge. Coach me, what should we do differently? Um, well, it helps that actually this venue doesn't have floor seats because my last venue I was at um, had floor seats and there were people standing in front of me and I couldn't see. Oh. And so it's nice to not have floor seats. I mean, it's it sounds funny, but it's nice to not have that. So then, I'm you know we're raised so I can see. Um. Do you ever buy uh, uh, food or refreshments here? Yeah. Oh yeah. And so how do you how do you do that? Is it been? Yeah, is it? It's it's tricky. I mean, luckily I have like a drink holder, but I mean to hold stuff. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard, especially like if they're dumping the stuff into the glasses. I mean, I've, I've, I've actually spilled a few drinks when I've been at different concerts just okay. for not having, like, I don't know if you wanna say it, like cup holders like a movie theater would, but yes. do you kinda understand what I'm saying? Like there's no place to sit anything. So- And like you really can't reach the floor. Do, could they put the, the drink in here or mm -hmm. do you ask them, will they do that? Yeah, usually they will, which they, is, is good. Okay. But then if I have like popcorn or food or something, then I have no place to set it. 
Mm. So that makes things quite difficult. <laughs> uh, so coach me, Jessica, would they, if you ask them to bring that food to your, to your place, would, would they do it or, or would I'm, you not ask? I've not had to ask before, but I'm sure they would. I haven't met a mean person here yet, so okay. I'm, yeah. I wonder if we should just automatically do it, or at least ask if you need some help. That would be great. Okay, uh, you got that Joel, and you got yeah. that Sioux Falls. I mean, yeah. this is a listening and learning program, trying to make Sioux Falls better, uh, and that does make sense, Jessica. I, uh, I will bring that up to the team, the Ovations team. We j we already interviewed Chad Stoner, oh, yeah. but um, uh, so so thank you. Yeah. We we do have to get you in this in this show though. Yeah. What time is it? I don't even know. Five after two. I all right, let's get you in. Okay. And again, uh, first of all, thank you for staying in Sioux Falls. Yeah. We need you. Uh, and thanks for being such a great, uh, you know, customer of the event center. Of course. It's what I, I love it here. So it, it's a very good place to be. So. Okay. So now tell me, though, who is one show that you want to see that we've not brought here? Oh, gosh. Um, honestly, and he's not on tour right now, but Justin Timberlake. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm with you. No, he's no, put it there. He's one of my most favorite people no, ever. No. If we can get Justin Timberlake here, that would be just absolutely huge. Uh, Bruno Mars would probably yes. be another one. I'd love to see him. There are about a zillion people. Like, we got, um, like, well, Ed Sheeran just came to Omaha. I know we've had him here. But yes. I like getting people back every once in a while, too, just because that's fun. I love going to see people more than once. Great, great. I love. It. Well, let's get that hashtag on there. Joel, one more time. <laughs> uh, we have a huge fan, not only of Garth and Trisha, but maybe one of our biggest fans when it comes to the uh, to, to our new event center. Yeah. If they don't know my name, they know my face, and I get the employees, oh, you're here again? Hi. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, well, security recognizes me. Employees recognize me. It's, it's kind of funny, actually. Thank you, Jessica. Thank Hi. you. What, a, what an honor to meet you. And thanks well, for letting thank me you. serve nice you. you too. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Take care, Sioux Falls. Mm -hmm. Sioux Falls, one of the, uh, the most important things that goes into an event like this uh, is keeping people safe. And it's more than just uh, you know keeping Garth and Trisha safe. It's keeping everybody safe that, that comes here, uh, the employees, but also the 12,000 patrons too. Uh, joining us now is is Joel from Sioux Merchant uh, Patrol, part of the team that helps keep this uh, this venue safe. Joel, uh, first of all, tell us about yourself and what do you do for Sioux Merchant? Uh, well, actually, I'm a, a field supervisor, so I do a lot of managing with uh, the event side of things, our oh. virtual service, um, a lot of different uh, services that we offer. When we do stuff out here, our biggest focus is making sure that the facility is safe, that you know we're free of any weapons coming in, and that just everybody can come and enjoy the uh, the experience of whatever event it is. So that's our biggest function here. Joel, how long have you been part of the event center security team? Oh, uh, for about 13, 14 months now. Okay. Yep. Okay, what is the uh, the biggest uh, issue that you face when it comes to, you know, security? What have what have you seen? Well, we see people coming in with oversized bags, and that kind of slows up the okay. process. Um, you know, we do see a lot of knives still coming in, um, and whether you're an off-duty law enforcement officer or not, they don't allow those items to come in. So it's really important that those items do not come in for the safety of everybody. All right, Sioux Falls, just for your own protection and your own knowledge. Again, it's a listening and learning session. Joel, go through the, the basics on what is not allowed when you come to a, 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 a concert, a basketball game, a football game. What is not allowed? Uh, go. Sure. Well, any knives, guns, uh, obviously. Um, pepper spray is not allowed. Uh, selfie sticks. Those can be extended, and generally those are not safe to have. Oh, gosh. Either. No, um, no selfie sticks. No selfie sticks. Those just get in the way anyways. Uh, umbrellas usually aren't allowed either because they can uh, hide weapons, um, they can be extended, and they just, again, get in the way of other people's view of things. Uh, oversized bags. The Premier Center just started a new rule on uh, the bag size, and it's a 13 by 15 inch size bag. Is, uh, 13 inch by 15 inch yes, size bag. That's okay. correct. Uh, no backpacks, uh, no drawstring bags, um, and you know, that's pretty much the gist of it. If there's a special item that needs to come in, um, we can always uh, discuss that and go through it, but uh, we don't generally, those items we don't usually let in. Okay, Joel, so let's say somebody does bring in a, a knife or a selfie stick or an umbrella. What 
do we do? Generally, our rule is it needs to go back out to their vehicle. Okay. We don't hold on to those items because we have no place to store them. We have okay. no place to hold on to them. And we just, we can't be accountable for those items. All right. So. No, no, that's very good. I mean, that's, that's a great learning lesson right there, Sioux Falls. I mean, the, the, the reality is it is a world where security is more and more important. And there are certain rules that are put in place or policies that are put in place. And we do need to adhere them adhere to them we we just do so you heard you heard um, uh joel uh, you you heard him say if you bring that stuff you're gonna have to take it back to your car and i'm sure that doesn't make people happy but it is the way it is yep no it's, it's again for everybody's safety and for everybody to enjoy the show safely so okay yep. okay and now uh kind of a maybe not so from a danger perspective but do people bring food in here and their own drink? Yes, yes, all the time. And and that, that is another rank that we run into. We, we want people to come and enjoy the show. Yes. But, uh, you know, the, the facility really only makes money off of the concessions and the items okay. that they sell. Okay. And you know, they have plenty of food inside that's good. I've had it more than <laughs> once or twice, uh, and you can enjoy it. But it's uh, we don't know what's coming in. It could be outside alcohol, and we don't want to have any that coming in either. So outside food and beverage is a no-go as well. All right, but I am going to ask a tough question. Uh, so, Joel, how many people do try to sneak in some uh, uh, their own beers or their own whiskey or, or maybe even their own uh, bag of Dorito chips? You know, not as often as you would expect. Oh, very good. Good not job, Sioux Falls. Not as often as you would expect. Um, but I mean, you still run into it from time to time. So, And, you know, just to politely ask people that, sorry, that's not allowed. And uh, either eat it or throw it. So, <laughs> uh, Very, very good. Um, give me your, without naming names, or anything, what's been the, the biggest issue, uh, the biggest issue so far? Uh, the biggest issue so far, uh, with, with the concerts, I would say it's, it's just making sure that people understand when they get here, they have to go through a security checkpoint, they have oh, to be searched. Oh, very good. Um, it, it just gets to be really difficult to, uh, to, to bandage that if people don't know that. Um, so mm. I think having signs posted, I think having stuff on the website is great. But for people just to understand that they've got to go through security first um, before they can enjoy the okay. show, that's the, the number one thing. You know, Sioux Falls, I know we just talked to, uh, to Trisha, who comes all the time, but we also have seen some first-time visitors to the event center. And, and that is probably one thing you may not realize is that everybody, and we mean everybody, goes through security. Uh, now, we've invested in things that ultimately will make it uh, more efficient, more productive, and yes, more safe for you. Uh, but you, everybody goes through security, whether it be uh, you know, a wanding or a uh, security, uh, what do you call them? The metal detectors. The yep. metal de yep. detectors. So those are real. Yep. Uh, and you are going to go through it. Uh, uh, but again, we're trying to make it fast. We're getting 12,000 people in this show. Then about an hour and a half later, we're going to get 12,000 more people in the next show. So we do security well, don't you think? I would say absolutely. And it's a challenge, but we managed to get through it. And I think we do. We have a very good team uh, every time we have a show. So we bust through it. That's right. Has, has anybody brought a, a weapon other than a knife into the show? We have had a couple guns come in. You have? And, and that's actually, I think we run into that with uh, all three law enforcement officers. Okay. And, you know, their understanding is that they can carry anywhere in South Dakota, which is not the case. If it's a private venue or a private facility, that facility has the right to say, sorry, I can't come in. So. Okay. Uh, and, and again, great point. Uh, so, uh, the, there is a, there is a open carry law. However, it doesn't pertain to private 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 managed entity such as the Danny Sanford Premier Center. That's correct. That's correct. Yep. Okay. So you cannot bring a uh, a uh, a handgun into the Denny Sanford Premier Center even if you're uh, a law enforcement officer that's off duty. Correct. That's correct. Unless okay. you're actually on duty and have a purpose for being here, they cannot come in. Okay. So and that's just for the safety of everybody. Well, again, thank you and your team for keeping everybody safe. Uh, it is one hop in place, as you can see. A lot of energy, a lot of fun. But yeah, our, we want everybody to have a good time. Absolutely. But Sioux Falls, we want you to also we need you to be incredibly safe when you're here. And uh, that's what we're, uh, we're, we're going to work that's on. Right. So Absolutely. thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. Th thank Appreciate you. Your time. Great job. Thank you. All right, Sioux Falls. Uh, I just, you know, it is one hop in place here. People are excited. 
Uh, again, they're coming from all over the state and the country. Now, I ran into some Plankington folks. What, uh, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Th tell us your name, please. Kathy and Kurt Ginden. Kathy and Kurt, good to have you here. You're from Plankington. How often do you come to the Premier Center? Well, actually, we come to it quite often. We yes. enjoy the place. It's gorgeous. We love it. We'll be here next weekend, too. What so. do you? What's next weekend? The rodeo. Oh, very good. Yeah, I know. Six concerts here already, probably, and PBR and the PRCA rodeo. You've been a lot of stuff down here. You are our, you're a good client of ours. Yeah, Thank you. Clients. Great clients. Great Thank you. Great yeah, we enjoy the place. Thank you. Where did you go before we had the event center? Nowhere. <laughs> Sioux Falls, we love it. We love you. Yeah, and I didn't set that up. I swear. <laughs> but but I, I think that that's something that people have to understand is that uh, not only is this a quality of life investment for people of Sioux Falls, it's a quality of life investment for people all across South Dakota. And yes, certainly you must spend some money when you come here. We do. Does she spend some money? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you spend it's some money? It, yeah. yeah. It's worth it. It's worth it. We love it. So they come here for all these shows, rodeos, PBR, and uh, they're having fun as well as spending money. Yeah. Yep. So uh, have you seen Garth and Trisha before? No. Nope. You haven't? Looking very forward to it. It is, uh, it is a show like I've never seen before. Yeah. The energy, so get ready. You will not be allowed to sit down. I've talked <laughs> to people who come to it and they said it's awesome. Well, I love it. I love it. So what are you doing after the show? It, does, again, it's a, it's a matinee show that we're at. And so uh, they're going to have all kinds of free time on their hands. So uh, any, any thoughts? Suggestion. Give have you been to our downtown recently? No. Oh, my gosh. Kurt, take her downtown. Uh, downtown has just happened. It's beautiful. It's safe. Uh, named one of the top ten retail downtowns in America just a couple of weeks ago. So much fun. And uh, I think it, and it's changed dramatically. It's so beautiful. That would be this mayor's recommendation. That's where we'll go. All right. Well, Thank again, uh, they got to get into the show. It's starting in about probably 40 minutes. They don't want to miss the uh, the opener. And, and again, on behalf of Sioux Falls, you relate some dang kind words. And, and we thank you for it. But on behalf of Sioux Falls, thanks for coming back. You're you bet. Welcome. All right. Have some fun. You bet. You Enjoy your day. You thank you. Good job. Thank you. Sioux Falls, I, I just met Brittany and Tess. Um, uh, they're, they're here at the show. And uh, so, have, how many shows have you gone to so far in, in Sioux Falls at, at your new event center? This is my first um, one. Probably like four or five. Like four or five, yeah. okay. Yeah. So what do you, what, I mean, you're a, you're a millennial, you're, you're younger, uh, you certainly uh, could, could live anywhere that you want to. How are we doing in terms of providing you with some, some things that'll make you stay? Well, Sioux Falls is where all of my family is, so that's one thing. Um, but I also have a son, so it's really good, a family city, so good. it's a very good, safe city for him to grow up in. I, I love it. I love, and you're from Sioux Falls, too? Yeah. So, and what do you do, please? I work at Wells Fargo. At Wells. Why did you stay in Sioux Falls? I mean, what, what's, uh, what's holding you here? I love it here. I have friends, family. I love it here. Uh, very good. Now, why is it only your first time here at the event center? Come on. Okay. I should come out more often. No, we'd love to have you. So you've not even been inside before? Nope. Okay. First time. Not even for a hockey game? You didn't come for a hockey game? No. No. <laughs> well, you're going to have a blast. Thanks. I just love it. And thanks so much for living in Sioux Falls. Um, one of the challenges that we had when that we had is that young people like you, when you graduated, whether it be from high school or from college, you left. Yeah. And now you're choosing to stay. And that is just uh, phenomenal. We, we need that Sioux Falls. We need not only young people uh, staying here, but we need the active generation staying here or moving here. And we need all these people that have left Sioux Falls in South Dakota. We need you to come back, uh, just like these two you know, are, are doing. So welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And thanks for letting me interview you today. And thanks for letting me serve you. Thank you. Take care as well. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Take care. Sioux Falls, uh, I've not seen many people resting before the show, but I, I think they've heard about it and why you, you, you're you going to need to rest because you're not going to sit once you get in there. I've got Brian and Holly from Sioux Falls. Are you guys on a date? Yeah, we're on a date. We have a babysitter for our kids. <laughs> and uh, Kind of nice to get away for just a little bit. <laughs> I, love I love it. So, uh, Brian and Holly, uh, first of all, how long have you lived in Sioux Falls? 
I've lived here for 12 years. 12 years, Holly? About 10 years. About 10, where are you from originally? Um, close to Wilmer, Minnesota. Wilmer. Very, uh, we just we just uh, met some people from Spicer. I thought we heard that too. Yeah, I love it, I love it. I'm from Sioux Center, Iowa. Sioux Center, Iowa, very good. Can I ask you, um, um, so you've been here over 10 years. Uh, the city has certainly evolved uh, in, in that time. Um, what else do we need to really make it our town even even better? I'm going to kind of put you on the spot a little bit. Oh boy, that is a tough question because I, you know, being here um, that long is really we've had a lot of changes in those years. Yes. Um, I would say one of the things maybe um, just continue to build the roads better. Um, Rebuild, repair the roads even better. Right. Where do you, where do you live? What part of the town? Southeast, okay. Yeah. So, um, you were going to talk about traffic. Traffic is always a little bit of an issue. Um, we're starting, everyone says it's a small town, um, but we are starting to get a little larger. Yes. You may need a little bit just on traffic control and stuff. We're growing 5,000 people a year. That's, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Wow. Yeah, it, it is, it is. We love the city, though. Thank you, thank you. You said you had little ones. Are they school age? Our oldest is two and the youngest is four months. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This is a well-deserved date afternoon. Wow, I love it. Right. I love it. So, uh, so uh, tough one back to you, Brian. What, um, what is something that we need to really focus on in Sioux Falls that would make our community even better? Uh, I'm thinking that maybe some more activities for young adults. Mm. Um, well, give me an example. Are you worried uh, that they're that if they don't have something to do, they're gonna you know cause trouble, or, or what? What do you think? Because when you were growing up, you kind of had to make your own fun. Uh, more and more nowadays, it's, it, it seems like we have to create fun for kids. Is is that kind of what you're talking about? Yeah. Um, I don't know. But more activities for youth. No, and, and I understand it. activities for younger adults. Oh, younger adults. Oh, very good. Very good. Uh, do you guys spend a lot of di a time downtown? Uh, we usually go down there probably two to three times a summer. Oh. We, uh, we really like date nights down there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. For sure. Yes. Well, I think you'll find that it's really a, a, a very active place to be. Uh, it's going to get more active with the, uh, the Levitt Pavilion and and the River Greenway improvements, uh, a lot of lot of new stores or, or, or opening bars, restaurants, you name it. So I think that, that that's going to get better. But no, I, I appreciate that. I think we've come a long way uh, in at least the last seven years. But yeah, there's still more work to do. Whether it be roads, uh, um, focusing on you know uh, uh, some of our bad neighbors, crime, more things to do, improving quality of life. Uh, no, I, I appreciate it. Uh, uh, so, how many shows have you been to here, Holly? Uh, you mean for Garth or for no for the event center? For River Center, um, we were the, at the first one, the Jason Aldean Jason concert. Aldean, that was a great that time. Was a great concert. Yes. Um, and then we went to Michael W. Smith, Amy Grant for the Christmas. Oh, wonderful! So we've probably been three, four times. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Morning events. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. So, well, yeah. well, we're so thrilled to have you back. Uh, thank you so much for letting me serve you. Uh, I'm, I'm having a blast. I'm certainly going to miss it, but uh, really, I, I love it. And you're building your family here in, in Sioux Falls. You got two, and, and uh, God knows if you have more, and I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll save that for some, another interview. But uh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're on the southeast side of town. Right, we are, yep. Okay, um, that, that side of town is just going gangbusters. We'll be, part, we'll be uh, side by side with Harrisburg any day now. Oh, very good. So, like, in our back of our neighborhood, we have that school. There's a brand new school and stuff. Yes. So, very convenient and stuff. For I know exactly. I know right where you're at then. Very good. Yes. Yeah. We just need more restaurants over there. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. <laughs> that probably would be the one thing. The, the um, we take advantage, so, too. Um, I was going to tell you, like, in the summer yes. months, too, like, I'm a part of, like, the Sioux Falls Tennis League. And oh, stuff like that too. gosh. Yes, yeah. I know. So I do appreciate those kind of things in Sioux Falls. Like we have, um, we have some things for young adults to get involved in that way. Um, I love 
love the competition, like since I'm out of actually competing, that yes. there's, a, actually, there's somewhere where I can compete yet. Great. Well, I, I want to play in tennis someday. I look forward to it. Or my wife, Cindy, definitely will. So, well, I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thanks for letting me do this interview with you today. Uh, now, we do got to get you into the show, though. We're waiting for another couple. Oh, another couple? Okay. Are, are they coming from out of, out of town? No, we had someone back out last minute, so we just called up two friends and said, you want to come? And so You had to make their, their year. I know, right? <laughs> I'm expecting a steak dinner next time. <laughs> uh, oh, I love it. A steak, a steak and dessert. Yeah. So. Well, well, thank you again. Thank you again. So much fun, Sioux Falls. And again, uh, uh, also learned about what we can do to make our city even better. Thank you. Nice job. Thank you. Sioux Falls, I, I tell you, this has been one fun listening and learning session. I've, I've just learned a ton, but also engaged so many uh, great people from all over the, the country. And uh, so, yeah, we're, we're pretty blessed here. We got a lot of good things going on, including our, our event center. Uh, we're at three years old now, Sioux Falls. Yesterday, we just celebrated our two millionth customer at our event center, the 88th busiest in the world, nine sold out Garth and Trisha shows. So uh, I, again, a lot of good things happening. I hope you learned a little bit about what it takes to to make these shows so successful. Uh, but yeah, there's a, some people who want to get into this show. Uh, we know they're going to have a great time. So again, Garth, thank you. Trisha, thank you. All the people that are attending these nine sold out shows, thank you. And then finally, hey Sioux Falls, thank you as well. You made the investment that ultimately made this a reality for so many people. So thank you for doing that. Thanks for taking the risk. Thanks for trusting me and so many others in ultimately to making it happen. So on behalf of uh, uh, City of Sioux Falls and this listening and learning session, make it a great show, everybody. Take care. Be good.